Most city consists of about 30,000 square feet of actual space. And we have a hill built inside. Uh, we run Team SBM out of here, which is a competition team based in Texas. And look, we just come in and train today. Uh, so this is a good gym that if you're in the city of Houston and you're either you're competitor or non-competitor, just come here and just work. Welcome to Built by Iron. Built by Iron, season one, episode one. high school athlete running track. Um, I was never into fitness per se, nutrition wise. I used to eat hot Cheetos and Hot Pockets right before track meet. And it kind of ruined my physique a little bit. I had that skinny fat where you're just lanky built. And until I met Hassan and Stephanie, my prep coaches, I started to build actual muscle and gain actual strength. And now I'm into bodybuilding and it's completely changed my world. I definitely plan on using my pro card for good, not evil. Definitely want to take over the world though. I want to introduce bikini fitness to African American females and introduce fitness and workouts to African American community because I mean, a lot of that is lacking in my community and to bring that forward and show that it's a normal lifestyle, it's a great lifestyle to be a part of would be awesome and I just want to present that to little girls that look like me that they can compare themselves to something great and not have to be average. You can be above average, you can build the body you want without buying it. You can look exactly like the girls you see in all type of sports at the Olympics. I mean, it's like as far as you can go. The top is no stopping it. So with my pro card, I definitely want to bring a lot of community, bring in the youth, and definitely bring in that African American culture into the lifestyle of fitness and bodybuilding. in Missouri City. You know, I've never received this much support. You know, my biggest supporters being Miss Stephanie, the head coach, and Hassan. You know, they stand behind me 110% and they push me to go after it and you know, achieve whatever I'm going for. Preps, preps for shows has really taught me a whole lot. You know, uh, let me see. The biggest thing about prepping was, uh, you know, I'm pretty much been a pretty disciplined person, but uh, prepping takes discipline to a whole another level. Like, you know, it, it has taught me so much. You gotta be consistent with your meals. You gotta be prepared at all times. And um, all the, not even when you just cut for a show, but you know when you in the off season when you uh, getting ready to try to bulk and put on more lean muscle, you know you still gotta be sharp with your diet, with your prepping because you know your protein slips or you know whatever the situation is, you know it can throw everything off. You wanna constantly be in a state of growth. You wanna grow after every single prep. So you know it takes constant discipline. And you, you really gotta be on it. My biggest goal right now is to uh, pro up, get that pro card. Um, as far as goals after that, you know, continue to compete and uh, kill it on that on that pro stage. You know, I think everybody's goal should be to qualify for the Olympia and do well at the Olympia. You know, that's the the pinnacle of men's physique uh, competing. So ultimately, that's definitely my number one goal. You know, it's a pretty big goal. I think it's far-fetched, but you know, you gotta go after those big goals to be great. Next time on Built by Iron.